Hello guys and welcome to Top Channel 1. So a new version of Blender has been released, uh, that is version 3.2 and boy these versions are really coming up very fast. Uh, here are some of the new features, I think we have talked about them a few times but uh, yeah they are new light groups and uh, they have this image here that shows you how the light groups work. Uh, they work in the compositor and uh, you can uh, group them uh, depending on how you, yeah they're, they're just light groups. So here is a, a combined uh, a composition of all the lights included but uh, they break down uh, how the interior light so you can have a different layers uh, interior lights um, pool lights bench lights so in your scene these could be different uh, groups but I uh, just show you how it works even uh, the world lighting is also grouped you can group it uh, separate from the others you have we have now shadow caustics uh, you can see amazing render uh, but we have already seen all these features almost because uh you, you, you see the thing about blender releases is that uh, by the time the actual release is out uh, we know almost everything that uh, that is going to come within that version so this is just uh, going through just uh, reminding us of, of the new versions but uh, what i wanted to look at mostly was uh, the blend file that uh, because every time they re release a new version of blender uh, they release the uh, what is it called? The flash, splash screens uh, project files. And uh, I wanted to just look at it and uh, break down a few things uh, that I found interesting. And uh, you can always pick a few tips uh, from these projects. So I've already downloaded it. And uh, if you want to download it, I think you just go. I, I'll just be leaving a link in the description. But uh, you can, uh, if you go to the release pages, you'll find the demo files under this menu here. So you get, click on that. And uh, it should take you to this splash screen where you can download other splash screens are uh, from Blender 2.77. Uh, so if you download this, uh, this is by ok Oksana Dobrovolska. I'm sorry for butchering the name. But uh, yeah, so you can see the project is here. And uh, I've already looked at it. Uh, and I've already caught a few things uh, that uh, that just triggered my imagination. So uh, uh, let me first uh, hide uh, this water because it slows down a few things. Okay, have some volumetric. He's rendering this in uh, cycles. So if you look at this, in it doesn't look as spectacular as. But I think if we have lighting on, which I had not tried, uh, that's how it looks with the lighting. Let me turn on the world as well. It's possible he's using uh, the ah he's using the Hossein Wil Wilkie. Is it part? Is this a new type or has has it always been there? Let me see. Let me check. Let me check. Sky texture. Ah, it's always been there. Okay, so he's using that. And uh, another thing I thought, I thought this was a procedure texture, but uh, it's actually something he baked. Uh, let me first turn off these. Uh, this is a textures he baked, uh, he created, I think, possibly in Substance Painter, uh, because it usually names stuff like this. Uh, it names things uh, like this. So, yeah, likely he textured this in Substance Painter, uh, but this one uh, wasn't paint, has no textures on it, which is interesting. It's just, uh, let me see, does it... Doesn't seem to have any textures or this pinned. Hmm. You can barely see the detail. It's actually textured. I think he's using he's using a roughness. Let, let's go through each of these maps and see what's okay. Uh, roughness. Normal map. Uh, displacement. And what is this? And a translucent. And he using the translucent in the subsurface. Ah. Okay, so yeah, but I think these textures were made in a, an external application. Uh what I like was mostly was uh, this how he did uh the water form. It's just an image uh, that he fits into the alpha and the base color and uh, that's it. So if you want to get this project file and uh, examine, it, examine it yourself, uh, you can also see how he did the lighting. Oh, these are buds, which are just basically planes, which is basically just an image. Finally, doesn't really, oh, I think 
is using alpha clip if you're using if they won't be very visible unless you tune change this to hmm, alpha blend let me see the the alpha mask nothing seems to show in this image let's see in cycles if things come up Maybe this, this is a missing texture or something. Uh, can't seem to see anything from this image. Actually, there are images. We have buds, but for some reason they're not showing up in Eevee. Interesting, interesting. Anyway, if you want to get the project files, again, you can. I'll be leaving a link in the description. Speaking about new things, I have released a new uh not an add-on a new generator uh, called street generator and maybe let me show you how it works here uh, let's go under uh, recent uh, street generator basically it's a way to make uh, streets very very easily in just a few in, in just a few steps and uh, this all works with geometry nodes so here we are I think I'll, I'll start making a few tutorials about geometry nodes and I think maybe even today I'll release a tutorial on uh, how to use geometry nodes uh, just maybe an introduction to geometry nodes uh, stuff like that so yeah here is uh, what we have uh, so I have a few groups here uh, that uh, contain the content that is being uh, used for the street generator so we have some sidewalk assets and uh, if you make your own sidewalk assets and have them in this collection they will also be used in the sidewalk and uh, and uh, uh, the add uh, the uh, geometry nodes generator will be able to have them. Let me show you in the uh, node setup. Uh, you can go under the pavement type and switch between uh, the pavement. So if you have a, a third uh, pavement, it will be placed into that uh, part. But uh, since we don't have any, it just remove that. But, uh, you can switch between different uh, pavements. Same with the with this. A shelter bus shelter if you go to the shelter settings uh, we can change them according to what is in uh, the shelter bus shelter collection so if you have any other shelters you want to add you can just uh, add them into that collection and uh, the the generator will instance it same with the street chairs uh, if I go to the chair type I can switch them and uh, switch so anything in here can be switched around you can switch it uh, so I can also adjust uh, the width of the road can adjust the length pavement width uh, if you want to remove uh, the say the bus shelters you just have to go either to a negative value for the type and uh, that will remove it or just go up until you don't see any like that I uh, can also change the street lights so which are here so I can change the head type I have several head types and again you can make your own head types and uh, add them uh, to the head collection so this is just the scale you can bring that up this uh, you can also change uh, the base type to whatever you want you can change the base type height the upper height and the overall height you also have some add here you can change their placement you can change their type uh, so you have the option to again there is a collection for ads add types uh, so you can add more ads if you want to and you can randomize the ads or just use the same type of ad everywhere Rotate them, change the type 
or just use a random ad. You can also change the separation so you have less ads or have less bus shelters by changing their uh, separation. Where is that? Bus shelter separation. So you can make them closer or really further apart. Same with the lights, you have the same settings. So separation like that. And you have a street like that. Yeah, so if you want to get this, you can get it on my Gumroad, Gumroad page or Blender Market. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And I think I'm going to right now record a Geometry Nodes tutorial uh, just so, because I've been getting requested to do that. Thank you.